Welcome back. We've been working through problem 24A. In our previous video, we worked through all of these journal entries. Now we're going to post the journal entries into T accounts. And to do it, we actually have to post our opening balances into T accounts as well. Let's just read through that first paragraph again. Teachers, pet, Tutoring service provides extra help to students. Company has been operating successfully for several years and has the following account balances entering April. They have cash of 8,000, accounts receivable 1,500, supplies of 5,000. They've got computers, 15,000, uh, accounts payable 300, bank loan payable 3,500, common shares and retained earnings. So when we begin to post these journal entries and I've sort of summarized them here in this long list before we can start to move journal entries into T accounts we have to make T accounts for these opening balances so I got one two three four five six seven I got to make eight T accounts before I can begin moving my journal entries over because I have to enter the opening balances into uh, T accounts. So the way I encourage my students to do this is to have separate sections on their piece of paper. So this will be a section for assets and you know, I'll just, I'm leaving some blank space over to the, the right here. Uh, I'll leave a lot of room here, be liabilities, then shareholders equity, and then I'll just put revenues and expenses down here, I'll put revenues first, right? So this will be my uh, tutoring revenue when we get there. I know I only had the one revenue, so I'll just reserve a spot for tutoring revenue. Uh, okay, so I need to open T accounts for those eight accounts that I had underlined there. Let's start with cash. Cash is always going to be a big T. So again, this is what a T account looks like. You just draw a big T, you write the word of the account on top, cash. Uh, AR can be smaller, so let's just make a smaller T for AR, accounts receivable, supplies can also be sort of half sized tier supplies. Cash is extra long because there's lots of debits and credits running through cash. Uh, next we got computers. And I guess I should be putting in my account balances as well. So let's do that as we go here. Uh, cash, they said was 8,000. Now, cash is an asset. To make an asset go up, it takes a debit. So if we have a positive cash balance, it is a debit cash balance. Accounts receivable is an asset, so debit side. Uh, supplies, an asset, debit. Computers, an asset, debit. Now, as we move on to our liabilities, I think you'll predict that they're gonna go on the credit side. We got accounts payable, uh, 300, and it's a credit account, and we got a bank loan. And of course, that is also a credit. Now, again, it's gonna depend on your professor, how they want you to lay this out on a page. I am not particular. I just encourage students to group assets, liabilities, equity accounts together, because it's gonna be helpful for the next step, the trial balance. Um, common shares and retained earnings, both credit accounts, both equity accounts. Common shares, retained earnings. Boom. And the amounts were 50 and 25, 60, both in credits. 50, 25, 6, uh, 20, what was it? I've 25, 650, 25, 650. Now, something you should do, if this is all of our opening balances, before I move in my journal entries, I should just double check to make sure debits equal credits because at the end of this, debits need to be equal to credits. And, and if you look at every journal entry, debits equals credits. The whole way down that list, debits equals credits. Well, if I start from a point where my debits and credits aren't equal, I'm screwed, right? I've screwed up somehow. <laughs> I don't mean to be so vulgar, but we are we are in trouble. Uh, so let me, let me add up the debits. 8,000 plus 1,500 plus 5,000 plus 15. Thousand. Okay, so my total debits, 29,500. Remember that number, 29,500. Total credits, 300 in AP, 3,500. 
plus 50 plus 25 650 29,500 debits equal credits we are safe to continue if your debits don't equal credits probably you just put something on the wrong side you put something in the credit side that should have been in the debit or vice versa once we've done that the table is set to enter our journal entries into these t accounts so let's start with debit ap credit cash debit ap 300 i'm just doing the journal entries credit cash 300 next debit advertising expense credit cash 3000 all right i'll make a new t for advertising expense and the amount was 3000 and we're going to credit cash 3000 debit supplies credit ap a thousand debit supplies a thousand credit accounts payable a thousand debit cash credit ar 1500 debit cash 1500 credit accounts receivable 1500 debit utilities expense credit ap 250 need a new t debit utilities expense 250 credit accounts payable where are you 250 debit notes receivable credit cash 500 all right i need a new t now again i i, I note that this note receivable is a current asset so if i were listing this into my trial balance i'd list this before computers even though i'm writing it after you'd like to have them in the right order but i i missed there debit notes receivable credit cash 500 and it's not the end of the world like i said i'm not picky with t accounts with the trial balance i'll get pickier debit salaries expense credit cash 4000 need a new t for that debit salaries expense 4000 credit cash 4000 next debit cash credit notes receivable 500 okay so there's notes receivable credit 500 cash debit 500 next debit cash credit bank loan payable 10k debit cash 10 credit bank loan 10 we're off to the races here debit computers credit cash 8500 debit our computers credit our cash 8500 and next debit telephone expense credit cash 150 need a new t for telephone expense it was uh, 150 i think yeah 150 and we credit cash one five oh uh next that was telephone expense salaries expense cash four thousand debit salaries expense credit cash four thousand debit ap credit cash 250 that's our next one debit ap credit cash 250 250 and our last one debit cash debit ar credit tutoring revenue cash is sixteen thousand. ar is two thousand and tutoring revenue is eighteen thousand. and at this point i've done a beautiful job setting up my t accounts let me move this over so i can have this isolated on screen and we can talk about uh maybe i should have done this in thicker ink let's see if this looks better or worse i'm gonna right click pen properties thicker how's that uh it's borderline i think it's better overall i'll go with the thicker pen um okay so we need totals so let's go down to our telephone expense on our telephone expense the total is just 150 i don't have to do any work salary expense four plus four is eight if you have two on the debit side you just add them if you have two on the credit side you just add them uh, and this is a total i don't need to do anything utilities advertising that's total tutoring revenue it's fine common shares retained earnings those were unadjusted 
Let's do the bank loan. I have two credits, so a $10,000 credit and a $3,000 credit make a $13,000 credit. On to AP, now if you have debits and credits, you add up both sides, take the big side minus the small side. So I have 1550 on the credit side, I have 550 on the debit side, and I just take the big one minus the small one, and I get, of course, 1550 minus 550, it's a thousand. Now, if you want to, you can definitely just look at this and go, well, this one cancels this one, this one cancels this one, and I've got a thousand. And I think that's totally fine. It's not going to work for every T account, but it certainly does work a lot on payables and receivables. Next, <laughs> sorry, I kind of shouted next. Uh, notes receivable, 500 minus 500 is zero. Computers 15 and eight, it's 23,500. Five plus one is six for supplies. All right, so 3,500 on the left, 1,500 on the right. Take the big one, 3,500 minus the small one, 1,500. We're left with 2,000. And last but not least, we got to figure out what's left in our cash account. Uh, so I'm going to add up the left side. I'll add up the right side, and then we will uh, make a determination here. 8,000 plus 1,500 plus 500 plus 10,000 plus 16,000 is 36,000. That's debits. Now I'm doing this in blue ink because you wouldn't typically write this, right? You just do it in your calculator, but I want to show you what I'm doing. 300 plus 3,000 plus 500 plus 4,000, plus 8,500, plus 150, plus 4,000, plus 250 is 20,700. So I just take the big side, 36,000, minus the smaller side, 20,700, whatever side's bigger, minus whatever side's smaller, 36,000 minus 20,700, 20, the big side gets the balance. It's 15,300. Okay, and at that point, we have done it. This is all of our T accounts laid out. Uh, in the next part of our video, we're going to work through, we're going to move from T accounts to the trial balance. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. And on your way out, I hope you'll hit one of those buttons for me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. The next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.